Okay, well, welcome to our first uh, Moodle webinar that we're having every uh, every Monday evening at four o'clock. Uh, this first webinar is looking at the simplicity of sending, setting up a course in Moodle, adding uh, some of the resources, looking at all the drag and drop features, and how you could actually create a course to teach to your students in 15 minutes. Uh, I think the, the gripe that we often get from teachers is they never have enough time to create uh, resources and activities for their courses. Um, I think in their mind it's it's a, um, a project that just takes too long. So hopefully um, by, by looking at this uh, little video demo that I've done, you can see that you can easily set up um, resources and, and, and have a course ready for your students uh, for that, that particular day perhaps. So um, what I've done in true Blue Peter style is I have actually created um, a demo already and I'll run that. Um, if you click on the little uh, nine button icon on the top of your screen, uh, you can actually ask uh, questions through the, the Q&A app. They appear on the right hand side of the screen. Just ask the questions, anything you'd like to know, and I'll answer those at the end. So uh, let's start with um, the video. And we'll take it from there. Okay, well, welcome to the, uh, the first Moodle webinar. Um, we're looking at how you can uh, create content for a site within 10, 15 minutes. Um, I think one of the criticisms from teachers while they're not using it um, is because of the amount of time they perceive it would take to, to create a course and add content. And I think if you've got a lot of this already within your, your own document or your own file management area, um, it's just a case of dragging and dropping in, in many cases, um, or just using some of the features that are very, very simple to set up. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just uh, add a course. So you would, uh, click on the button here. And we're just going to do uh, and we do it on the um, so copy and paste that very simple setup here. And in terms of, you can fill this if you wish, uh, in terms of format, um, I'm going to create, we've got a whole range of formats now, many more than this as well, but I'm just going to um, use a grid format which um, creates the blocks on the page um, as navigation links. It's very, very attractive and you can personalise each, um, each of your courses. So we'll do that with this one. So it's telling me grid format and saying number of sections eight. I'm just going to do two for today just to show you what it looks like. And all this information you can change and see it's all um, editable. Um, I'm just going to change that to crop so that it does keep it all in the same aspect. Um, and you've got all these that you can change as well. Um, we won't do those now but that's something you can go back and look at. And then just save changes. Um, Okay, that's what I sent further up, so I'm just going to put that over. And then just save changes. So that's a course, very simple. And the chances are, probably most of your courses have already been set up for you by your um, administrator. So uh, we now have to add our users. Uh, for the purposes of this, um, I'm just going to add in a particular cohort. We don't need to, it's just the process, and obviously, Again, if you've got the NIS block, um, you'll be able to add your cohorts um, automatically. Yeah. So, there we are. So, super old. so I'm just now going to go back into use the um, welcome trial to take me back into the course. So, at the moment, um, we need to turn the editing on. You can see the two little grids here. We've got nothing in here at all um, at the moment. So, let's just turn the editing on. Okay, so now we've got all our little editing buttons. Uh, that takes us into sort of the HTML block. Uh, we can add the images in, and this is basically the sections here where we're going to be adding the content. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, name little grids and we're going to add some images in, which starts to give it some sort of personality. So let's just click on change image, and this is where the drag and drop feature comes in. So I um, have got a folder called Othello, my desktop. So this is, and you'll probably have something in your document area as well, where you've already got a lot of your. Um, a lot of your content. So I'm just going to drag a picture in here. So literally just drag and drop in and it converts it to the file name and then just save changes really quick. And I'll do the same here. Obviously you can just keep changing them every time you click on the editing button. You can um, add other ones in. So these images have literally just been taken from Google Images. Um, this has been taken from the Lawrence Fishburne um, Ken Brunner version of the of, uh, of fellow. Okay, so already we've got images in. So now we need to give it a name. So um, you'll edit this section names from here, a little cog. Uh, 
Um, I'm just going to uncheck that. And I think we'll call this what. And again, if you want to put anything in here, you can. This is the editing block. And as soon as you click on that, it toggles between one or three menu bars. Um, and obviously, you can work your way through these various features. Uh, but we'll just do that. We're just going to give it a name at the moment. So changes. And similarly for the second one, I'm just going to call it characters. Just don't check that. Characters. Okay. Same changes. So we've now got the pictures in. We've now got the um, the topic titles in. So let's look at uh, look how easy it is to add content. So the first thing I'm about to do is um, I've actually got some YouTube links. Um, which I had already located. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to use the editing here. So this is just the editing within the, the, the title of the, of the topic. And you can use all the features there. So I'm going to go into this little button here, which is insert multimedia. So this will be your videos or your sound. And you can either go and upload these already from your um, file management area, or if you go into YouTube videos, this is a repository. And because I've got uh, link here. I'm going to copy that one. And I'm just going to paste and search, and hopefully um, that doesn't look very promising. Let's see what happens because that was working before. A bit of a worry. Let's go back in and maybe choose another one. Um, let's try Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe this link happening to YouTube, I don't know. Um, so changes. So oh, right, there it has. Okay. So in fact, so in fact I've got both of them there. Um, I've got a feeling this is something not happening correctly here. Um, okay, I will need to double check that. As you can see, this would normally link. Um, okay, so this has literally just happened today. Um, so obviously, we need to get that um, we need to get that checked out. I mean, the other thing we can do, um, to be fair, is I just quickly delete these, um, and then maybe we can just add some links. So that has literally just happened today. So if I put um, YouTube link, and let's see what happens. It's obviously the repository rather rather than the actual link. So I'm actually going to do it manually. So type that in, click on the link, uh, put that um, the URL there, and hopefully that will work. So it'll obviously let you know when the YouTube repository is working. Um, there you go. So that is working. So it's the actual. It was the actual Moodle repository that was um, that was at fault there. So literally all I did was typed in, um, just typed in YouTube and then actually linked it to the video. So it's, it's giving me, it's the, the outcome's exactly the same. Okay, so that's just taking a few minutes off of uh, creating your meal course, but um, that's not too much of a problem. Um, and again, let's, I'll just show you how to do that to get into the characters, because again, it, it is very simple. Um, once you've got the YouTube up and working, we'll give you a show how to do that. So YouTube, and obviously you probably call it something else, I'm just putting it there to show you the link. Uh, just Highlight that, go to link. Um, so I've now got that other one here. Yeah. I'm just going to copy that and go back in. Paste, insert, and then save changes. So it's just linking and then embedding into the screen. So this is really good for um, thinking about your blended learning, thinking about your flipped classroom, getting your video in first, you know, directing your students to this. Go and listen to this uh, and listen or watch the sketch um, from, from the film, this, this act of the film. And then you can go in and ask some questions or set up a forum or something like that. And to set up a forum is really simple. So, you know, they come back into class um, and you pose a question. So, literally, you're going to go to the um, activity chooser. And this will appear when you're in editing mode, this will appear in every block. So, we're going to go to forum, add. And there are different forum types, um, which will you can literally click on the help button there. But if we just put in, um, let's put, put, um, what uh, type of shapes yeah. is um, and um, let's put a little description 
what it is, spelling it correctly. So at this point, we're, we're just setting up a form, what are called placeholder. So we then can go in and pose the question. Um, anytime, sorry, just whilst we look at this, anytime um, a little red line forms a thing, it's usually spelling error, spelling error, and that it will, if you just click control and right click, and it will um, give you the various options. If it's green, it's usually in um, grammar. Um, okay, so we we'll just leave that in there. It's just going to be standard form, as I say, if you click on here, give you all the different options. Work your way through here if you, if you want to, give you all the, they're all, um, uh, you can just give them and they will open up and close like that. I'm also going to save and return to course. Um, so it's already telling me there's a new activity in here. So if I now click on, and you can see it's a little form. So if I click on here, um, I can now pose a question. So I'm going to add a new discussion topic. Um, So put your title in, uh, what category of and site three reasons why. So something like that. I mean, as you can see, I'm not a real English teacher, uh, but you basically pose your question like that. Um, now, if you actually want everybody to send, um, anybody who contributes to the form to, um, to automatically receive an email to say they've done that, then keep that there. The chances are you won't want that. Um, so just that's easy to um, opt for that one. Um, if you want this to go out straight away, you can do, but if not, just post the form and that will then appear. To continue. So now when the student goes in, um, quickly first, but when the student goes in, they uh, will have clicked on here, they would have looked um, at the video, uh, they would have decided, um, they would have gone in here to complete the form and add in their opinions, and obviously any these activities will always appear down here, so they can all go and double check. Um, okay, so that's a form, really, really simple thing to do. Um, the other uh, new feature is that it's a drag and drop. Um, so basically, you're, you're able to drag and drop um, all the resources onto the screen. So instead of having to upload them individually, so I can literally highlight all of these. Um, I'll just show you, just drag them down here. And then we'll just start loading up. When it comes to the picture, do you want to add it to the course page or do you want to create it as a file resource? So just upload, do the same with that one. And it just gives you all these various options. So again, you've got everything in here, it's just been dragged and dropped straight onto the screen. Obviously, you can now move them around. Got some PDFs, got some Word documents, uh, that's an MP3 file. Um, no idea what it is. I think that's probably. Oh, right, it's a, it's a blog. There you go. Um, so, uh, so that was something that I'd set up earlier on. So, but you can see how quickly that is moving things. So again, if I wanted to move that, I could just drag that. Yes, I'm right, I'm not going to do it. Um, all right, okay, right, just give me the option there. So I could just click in the box where I want that to go. Let me move. I'm obviously going a bit too fast for the screen now, and I do apologise. Um, so there you are, you can see that that was moved in there. So you can very easily, uh, dragging and dropping, move, move the um, resources around. If you want to go in and edit them, you can go in and maybe you want to um, delete them, or you want to move them, and you can, um, you can use the edit box there. Um, and again, these little boxes here, this has been set up so that students can actually, and it says that, can manually mark this item complete. Now this is quite useful if you actually are putting a sort of condition on this course. Maybe you put a certificate at the end to say, um, you will receive a certificate of completion when you have um, completed all these activities, and that can be set up. That will be another tra um, training video we'll do with you. But it basically, the student can just go and, and click here. Okay, so that is adding content. Look how quickly that was. So we've added a forum, we've added our videos, um, we've added some images. What we'll do now is um, I'll show you how to um, quickly add in and answer. just one quiz question because quizzes can take time, and they are the ones, um, if anything's going to take some time, it will be adding all the different questions. But there's some very nice um, quizzes that have been set up here. You've got like a real-time quiz um, where students will all take part in the quiz at the same time. Um, and then you, um, you'll get those, you can actually see it on screen. 
It's actually quite nice to look to when maybe at the beginning of a lesson, something like that. But these are the self-marking quizzes in here. So again, we're going to just set up a quiz placeholder. So we're going to add, and we'll just call it um, a fellow plot. And we will just, anything that has an asterisk next to it, you must complete the field. I'm just going to leave that for the time being. Um, I'm going to leave all of that. Can go back in and change it when necessary. I just wanted to show you how quickly it is uh, to set this up. So uh, we set this down up at the bottom. So that's your quiz. Now I need to, no questions being added at the moment. Um, so edit quiz. Very, very simple. Uh, add a question. And then you come up with a whole list of question types. So drag and drop, embedded, matching, multiple choice. Select missing word. Right, let's do select missing word. So what we're going to do here, because I've actually got um, fellow plot uh, missing word. I've literally just got um, a very simple plot outline which I um, added to my Word document. Is that yes, I'm just going to highlight that. Passage. 
and that's it. And, and the only reason that a fellow is being highlighted is because um, this name appears. It'll be part of the set, and it'll be. It'll just take you basically straight back into the course. So don't worry about that. It's nothing to do with the quiz. Um, but this is basically what it would look like. It's a preview. So if we just quickly go back in, um, and I can show you that. And the students will just click on it and take part. Um, so we'll just go in here, just a little bit before, and then a type of quiz now, because we've already had the question. Um, and then the, the, um, they'll be able to go to the grade book uh, when they go back into their own area, and it will give them their scores. So that's really quick. That was just a very, very quick one, but it shows how it's, that has quite a big impact. Is that you've also got the matching, um, you've also got your, let's say, got drag and drop. Uh, but we'll do quizzes in the other day. Um, and I'm just one the last thing I want to do, and this is really based on the previous um, topic I was talking about with the completion, that if you do set some completion, you can actually put a, a certificate at the end, really simple to add in. Um, and it just picks all the data from, from the certificate, you can set what you'd like it to, um, let me just call it completion certificate. Um, work your way through all of these. If you want to save them, you can actually save them and then you can download them and keep them. Um, colours, if you want the actual colours on here, I think these are design options. There are options if you do decide to use certificates where you can um, add in your own, uh, your own signature and also if there's a company logo or a school logo, you can add that in. That's actually done in the, in the back end in the, sort of, um, in the legal data area, but that's something that certainly, certainly your administrator can do. So again, you know, you've got these various options. Um, so this is these are the um, images that are there by default. Um, it, at the moment, are only those two signatures. We can add your own, and say you've got all these um, different seals and logos. You can add it, and then um, save and return to course. So when a student completes it, you can say to them that you've completed the course. You've added, uh, you've done everything we've asked you to do. Uh, now go and print off your certificate. So they can either do it themselves. Save it as a PDF, um, or you can do it and, and save it for them. It's actually quite nice. Um, it clicks in there, so I could actually get mine here if I wanted to. And you can see there, you can actually go up and have a look at that. If I just open that up, there you go, stick it in the And these are all the seals and things you can have, but they're actually a quite nice thing to have. Um, and it just, you know, it gives us the, the student. Um, that, that sense of having achieved, achieved something through, throughout that course. So, Othello, there you go. Um, that's a grid format. I'll just turn the editing off so you can see what it looks like. Um, so we've done all the adding content behind. Then the student comes in, obviously we've only had two blocks here, but they will just click on that one, and it will open up. There's the uh, video, or there's a forum, there's a PDF, um, and they can just click, they can navigate that way if they wish, and work their way through. Um, or they can just come out of it and and click on the images here. Um, so that's, I was going to say that's a Moodle course in 10 15 minutes, but I think with YouTube letting us down today, that was a little bit longer. Um, okay, so we're going to finish there. Um, any questions? Hopefully, you'll have added them to the question and answers uh, on the right hand side. Um, I'll go and answer those now. And if not, this is going to be posted onto YouTube. So you can always go back and have a look at it. Um, but if not, if anything else you want to ask me about this, just contact helen.pale at webanywhere.co.uk. Um, and next time we're going to go straight into quizzes and um, we'll probably look at some of the drag and drop quizzes because um, they're very quick to set up um, but they have great impact. Okay, thank you very much. I'm just going to switch this off now. And